Now, I have been a long time supporter of Cyprus, at least in terms of tech years, but one thing that people always brought up against Cyprus is does it support Safari? Well, fortunately, the new answer is yes. And in case you're wondering, yes, Safari support is quite important because what this means is that if it works on Safari, it probably works on other modern browsers as well. And if it works on Safari on Mac, it probably works on Safari on iOS as well. So let's take a look at this newly released support. Now, Cypress support for WebKit is starting with version 10.8, and you can see this mentioned at the top of these release notes. And this actually closes one of the most requested features on Cypress open source GitHub. As you can see, it currently has 957 thumbs ups. So let's demo how you would use it. Take any existing Cypress project and install the latest version of Cypress or at least version 10.8.0. Now, Cypress support for Safari actually comes in the form of WebKit. WebKit is to Safari as Chromium is to Chrome. It is the open source core of the Safari browser. And getting WebKit is pretty simple. You simply install Playwright WebKit and kudos to the Playwright team for creating this nice NPM package. With the installation out of the way, the only other thing that we have to do is to set experimental WebKit support to true within our Cypress config. Of course, this particular option is only temporary while this feature is in experiment. And that's it. Congratulations. Now you can run your tests just like you would normally run them. For example, to run them in a GUI mode, run npx Cypress open. This will start Cypress, select E2E, and you will see this new WebKit browser as a choice. And of course, because we want to run with WebKit, we will select that and start end to end testing in WebKit. The rest of the flow, of course, is going to be exactly the same as you might be used to. You select a spec that you want to run, it starts running but this time within WebKit. Hopefully the test will pass, but if it doesn't, then congratulations, you have probably found an issue that your app has with Safari. Now you might also know that you can choose a browser that you want to run in on your CI by using the Cypress run command and passing in your browser of choice with the minus minus browser flag and for WebKit, you pass in WebKit. And of course, the test that we saw passing in the UI is going to pass in headless CI as well. And we can further verify that by looking at the video recording. Thank you for joining me. Smash the like and subscribe for more developer tips and tricks, including of course testing, which is an important part of modern software development. And I will see you in the next one.